Nicolette from Nicolette Styles and today I'd like to show you how to set up your Canva account like a pro. We need to be as organized as possible and have things set up in such a way that it is easy for us to find what we need as quickly as possible. The reason why this is important is because you don't want to waste time looking for a design and then getting distracted or you don't want to upload duplicates or create duplicate files and you want to be able to eliminate frustration as much as possible. Setting up your Canva account is going to help you feel a lot less frustrated and get a lot more done faster. The first thing that you want to do after creating your brand kit and your mood board is to plug those elements into your Canva brand kit section. So you'll go to your Canva account and you'll click on your brand and here is where you'll start adding in your brand colors, any project colors and you'll also plug in your font hierarchy over here and upload any other fonts that you will need but the three fonts that makes up your brand is what you want to specify the size on and have easily accessible. Then you want to go ahead and upload any logos. So here's an example of another one that I set up for a client. And so once you've added in your colors, your fonts, your logos, or any other graphic elements that you will need to refer to often, then you move on to your Canva dashboard. You go to all your designs and you want to make sure that you set up a few design folders. You can have project folders or design folders, but setting these up will make your life a whole lot easier. In Canva Personal, you'll be able to create up to two folders. And then if you love this function, you will have to upgrade. Once you're in your design, you're going to want to make photo folders and you're not going to have that many options in Canva Personal. You can get a lot more organized and strategic about your visual strategy when you've got Canva for work. In Canva Personal, you're going to have your general uploads, you're going to have the purchase category, and it's going to pull in images from your Facebook if you connect your Facebook account. If you have Canva for work, what I suggest you do is you're going to have this first folder is going to be from the logos and the graphics that you imported in your brand kit. And here is that other example again. The next one that I suggest you have is your bio pictures, your branding elements. So you can split these up if you want to have them be patterns and elements, or you can just have branding elements. And to create these folders, what you do is you click on new folder and you can name them here, branding elements. And then you click on it and it, you can select to upload. You can also move things around. So you can hover over it and until it gives you the eye for information. You can delete a folder and you can expand it and hover over it for the information and then move it to any of the other folders. You can also choose to download right outside of your Canva folder. Having the images that you use the most often easily accessible and right at the top is going to save you a lot of time. and. If you can easily find the images and the elements that you need and use most often, it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. So once you've added your logos and your brand elements, once you've created project folders and you've created photo folders, the last thing that you want to do is to make sure that you're saving things in a way so that it's easy for you to find when you're searching for it in the search box. And you can also personalize your background. And that color is going to be the first color in your brand colors over here. So there you have it. That is how you set up your Canva account like a pro. That is how you make sure that you feel more confident and don't waste time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.